First impressions, a poem in three parts. Leo. He's in love with a singer. This singer doesn't even know that he exists, but he knows every note, traces chords on his tongue with each moment. He loves the way they serenade the thousands and sing, sing, sing. He's in love with a singer and his political views are death eater. And maybe, just maybe, he thinks we should all make a meal of the inevitable. But the millennial in me is layered with this impenetrable foundation of Potter. This guy hates mudbloods. What an idiot. But he sings himself into existence, you know. Sings the songs of a thousand setting suns, of spiders and plates. Oh, so many plates. He waits. Waits tables and waits on dreams. Impossible is nothing. Impossible is nothing with the cords on his tongue and his words will run rings around the equator and bring him to life for me. He deals in mystery, you see. And I never knew how swift he penned his poems, chasing squirrels on the page. His age belies his skill. You thrill at the rhythm which carries you away. He is both sides of the coin, structured law, writing raw, and each side side shining. Black magic eating death with football chanting on his breath and family close by. He tries to drop another pun, a llama underneath his arm, all charm. Secret agent, suit and tie, and from the corner of my eye I see him twinkle. Light through stormy leaves, smiling ear to ear. George. He is smitten with Newt Scamander and he is a most fantastic beast. Or at least he seems to be, drinking tea and crafting worlds in each word with no traffic to block him, to stop him eating old ladies on the bus to bath. I laugh with him and his heck down ways. He cosplays Poe, not Edgar Allan, and has a talent for spoken word. My fellow nerd, I see your post and raise you one, my Star Wars son, muggle born at Comic Con. Red leader, fanfic reader, bathed in glitter, your god is gay, and truth be told, I wouldn't have it any other way. And the distance between us is not of oceans, but stars. He's busy flying X-wings, and I'm still driving cars. He uses brooms to, he uses broomsticks to play Quidditch, and I use them to shoo away galahs. In Australia, we take short showers, but how long has be, he been in Bath Spa? Really though, we aren't so changed. Public transport is probably the bane of student existence. A burning fire of disdain. I never knew how much I could hate a bus or a train. And I don't think I'm wrong in thinking that he feels the same. His words are beguiling and aim to disarm, like battling stars and a snake on his arm. Inherent intonation, interlocutory vacation, intrepid in his silk smooth slam sensation. Megan. I think she's Artemis. She wields a bow as if it's a part of her, a branch reaching out from the thick trunk of her body. And stretching for the skies, she flies sometimes. That's not often, but she does. Steps through gateways into world she could never imagine. Listen to the campfire tales of mythos that don't belong here. She lives another day in shoes silently. In the corner of the cafe, with espresso fumes drifting about her, she lives. She should be writing. Right now, always should be writing. Leaving constant reminders to herself, clouds in the windy sky, reminding her to push pen to paper and craft a holy word. Each cross T, an arrow in her sling. And she's at QUT, running track lines on paper writing poems and stories full of horror and gore. She's got a sore appetite for the terror galore. Though I'm not sure where her details confide, it's safe to say that her interests reside in the dark fantasy, magical realism. She's got a bit of a creepy side. Violet hair, steely eyes, and a steelier resolve. The riddle behind a skull is not the easy one to solve. So cut the eye out of a Weasley with Lucius' scythe, mix 10,000 books and an ability to write, Hold a firm middle finger to the injustices of life and then drop them in a cauldron and let them all dissolve. It creates a concoction of gothic fiction and conviction that simmers through her veins. A potion of devotion that runs through her soul. I can't tell much about them from this far away. The connection between us, words typed on blue, white and grey. Moments snapped in shots we can only speculate about. And these identities are built from dreams. 
recording all our better days, forgetting all the bad, the sad, forgetting what to hide. Do I know them? Do I know them? No, not really. This is just what Facebook says. <laughs>